Zerin here, and I wanted to make a quick like summer video about my experience in BPL. BPL is a like scavenger hunt race for those of you that don't know, where there's like 500 people per team. There are a lot of different things you can do for points. You can get like every heist unique, loads of things from Delve, every boss set unique and stuff like that. It's just really interesting overall, and there's like a bunch of uh, no lifers spread out on, on teams evenly. And then when people sign up, they also specify how much they're going to play. So whether you're playing two hours a day or 10 hours a day, they try to do a fairly even distribution. It's obviously hard to get this perfect because sometimes people will play more or less than they intend to, but uh, it ends up being fairly balanced. So my job this PPL was being the leader alongside Ari Fei, Flappy, and Samra Hoshin. And uh, that was very different because normally I'd be like the main boss blaster and trying to get the bosses out of the way first. And uh, I kind of missed leading from games like EVE Online and Dark Fall, where I would do that a lot. And uh, it was it was really fun. So I just figured I'd make a video talking about everything. I had really great co-leaders and I felt like we all like filled out each other's weaknesses. I ended up being an amazing team and we did a lot of delegating. In my opinion, the most important thing off BPL is delegating. Whenever you try to do all of it on your own, especially micromanagement as a leader, you set yourself up for failure very easily. Um, so we had like, honestly, my, my speech was pretty bad. So I'll like just um, talk a little bit about the, the sub leaders we had. We had a heist team, which was uh, Black, Caption and Vala. And their job was to like make sure that the heist runners had blueprints, that there was always somebody running heist and, and trying to really target down the uniques and keeping track off what we had so far. We had like spreadsheets and stuff for everybody so we could really keep track because we needed every heist gem, every heist unique, etc. And then in Delve, we had Pia Awesome. And the there's it's so important to have good um, captains because they sort of keep track of like who's in their team, do they need more people, etc. And the Delve job was they had to get, I can't remember if it was one person to 500 or 700. Uh, and then you have to get like an average depth, you have to get all the loot, all the bosses, and they did an amazing job as well. And honestly, like every team captain, just mm, amazing. We had uh, the best hero captain was Dolph, and this was his first time ever leading in a BPL. And uh, he did really well, really great, organized. And they have to not only get all the beasts, and there, sometimes there will be a daily quest pop up where there will be like capture 20 of a specific beasts. We always got that like very quickly out of the way. And then other than that, they have to keep getting like beasts for crafters. And then we have the crafting team. And, and they do end up working a lot with the best hero team for fractures and stuff like that. And the crafters team was led by Stash Chester. Every time I asked for somebody to get geared up, it was like very, very quickly. Um, they actually didn't have enough people. So at some point we were like running out of people to do things. I crafted my own gear and they were so happy. They were like, you don't want us to craft for you? I was like, no, 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 I'll craft myself. I just want to make sure we have enough resources. Can I take these? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have way too much resources, just not enough crafters. Um, so that was a bad thing on my end. I hadn't made sure there were enough crafters. So that's something I'd try in the future to make sure that we had enough dedicated crafters. Like people who really enjoy crafting and don't even need to level their own character. They just want to sit there and craft. That would be very important. Uh, lab runners. So for, for lab, the important task ends up being like, you have to get all the uniques. So for uniques, you end up having like everything except like the Emperor's Jewels, pretty much. And um, you also want to like get loads of enchants. There were daily quests for enchants too, like we'll get six of these. Um, not on specific helmets, thankfully. But um, on top of that, it's like you want lab runners to be able to carry loads of people that are like... Because you, you have a very good spread of people there. There's a lot of people that aren't that good at the game on each team and are still learning a lot. So being able to carry people and help push them further than what they normally do ends up helping a lot. So we have people helping people with builds and stuff too. Um, Blight was led by Goldie and then we had Nubcake helping out a large amount extra as well and they did a great job. And then uh, uh, we like didn't have like a Harbinger team leader but like there was this guy Turtle who just stepped up and farmed like nearly every Harbinger unique so that was pretty great. And then at the end of BPL there's like MVP votes where like first you can vote for nominees and then later you'll do like a vote. So Karn won rank 1 MVP. He did like a 37 hour stream and it made a very big difference for our team because he got all the bounties out of the way and then started farming uber bosses very early. So 
my favorite thing to do in BPL is you gear the fuck out of one person. At the very least, one person. So you have somebody that can take over anyone else failing a boss because you have limited gear early, right? So um, when you're doing bosses with 3k HP uh, and trying to out damage them instead, it is actually pretty easy to fail bosses. So having one person giga gear, then just like, yeah, like one portal, no problem. I'll, I'll do anything. Um, he later ended up getting a mage blood as well. And uh, number two is He Hulk. He just helped take care of everybody, helped make sure that people were running sextants and scarabs. Because what ends up happening a lot in BPL is that you actually have too much resources and people are scared to use them. Because a lot of people feel like, well, you know, I'm not that important of a player. I'll give it to somebody more important or, or somebody better than me can use this. But it actually ends up being really important that people are a little bit more selfish and starts running scarabs, starts running sextants because we end up having way too many. We ended up having like at some point 400 of some scarabs because people weren't running them. And he helped help like be like, just fucking run these. Take these, take these. All this stuff is for you. And we had like loads of six things just lying there and people still like playing on five links and stuff because they're scared of taking resources. Uh, and then the third MVP was Average Heist Enjoyer, who just lived in Heist. He would just keep trading me inventories of inventories of stuff. He would be like, here, take this. It's like 300 chaos and like 200 essences. He's like, oh, wait, you need to empty more inventories. I have more stuff. And he's just going ham. And he was doing like same sessions as like car in like 35 hours. Um, and if you're wondering, well, like what happened to the mage button and stuff like that, that gets raffled out among the people that were playing on the team. Early on, I asked for like somebody to be like a butler to help the blasters so that like people like Gucci and Karn could just ask for stuff and keep focusing on blasting extra hard. And Crow Hell did such an amazing job on that. We had more people helping out with everything too, but like it was, it was a blast. It was really fun organizing everything and it was a very tight race. Uh, we, we lost by like a hundred points, but we were a second. It kept like alternating like which team was in the lead. They ended up getting some of the boss sets earlier. Boss sets are pretty important because for example, they finished Maven very early. And what finishing Maven early means, an Echo Forge is obviously very rare to drop. Uh, but what that means is that you don't need to witness bosses anymore to the same degree. Uh, means that it's more okay if you aren't dropping contracts, you can still just blast out Shaper and Elder. Obviously that's, uh, that's very big, but we had a lot of good RNG as well. And uh, that's obviously what made the race so close between uh, Team Corsair and Team Royal, which was our team. And yeah, just absolute blast. I don't know if I would lead again in the future, maybe. Uh, I'd probably play that by ear. What I normally do is I play one BPL and then I take the next one off. This was my first time doing back-to-back -back BPLs. Um, because they are very intense. I'd say it's the unhealthiest event of PoE. And it's funny because... There's no like crazy prizes or anything. Like, a few people are given supporter packs and stuff, but it's not like Gauntlet where there's a $30,000, $40,000 prize pool or boss kill events where you get to design a unique. But what ends up being so much pressure is that you don't want to let other people down. I know a lot of streamers in particular feel like if they're not doing like 20 hours at least, they're like, you know, not doing good enough. I definitely feel that pressure. Um, I will always try to push myself as much as I can. I was very sick during the event and I was still doing 16 to 20 hour sessions. Um, and uh, that was very unfortunate. I really wish I would have done more as well because my, uh, yeah, I just feel like I didn't play enough. But it's, it's interesting because obviously nobody should or could expect that of someone, but you always expect that of yourself. You want to push as much as you can for your team. So yeah, it ends up being a fairly unhealthy event. There's not much you could ever do to stop that outside of like forcibly locking people out because people like A, it's just a few days, right? It's just four days. Uh, people just want to do well with their team and, and help others. And, and that's like a great, great feeling. Um, nothing feels better than finding something really important for your team. You link it in global and everyone is like, oh my God, plus one for the team. Yo, that's fucking huge. And you, you feel really good. So it is an absolute blast. If you have missed BPLs in the past, they do one every league. They have like a Kofi link. Kofi? 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 Uh, if you want to support, I just did as well. Um, I just sent them an extra 300. So definitely consider that. It helps them out with server costs. They do this definitely at a loss. They're not like making money off this. So feel free to help support them. We'll link them in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a blast with BPL. Thank you so much for everyone that was on my team. If you have any feedback, feel free to reach out on things I did badly or things I did well. Um, but yeah, had a blast doing it. I'll see you guys in the future. Thanks for watching. More importantly, try to die less than I do.